in television news, compiled from the major American networks, wire services, and public affairs offices. Hello, I'm Ann Mulligan. Good evening, I'm Sergeant Richard Real. In the news tonight, an Air Force computer specialist faces charges of spying, and we'll have details on that tonight. Also tonight, the grand opening of the newly renovated Giesen PX and Rhine Main Air Base learns to give the breath of life. Now our top story. A U.S. Air Force computer specialist charged with espionage faces a court martial June 18th. A USAFE spokesman says Sergeant Francisco de Assis Mira of Detachment 1, 601st Tactical Control Squadron, is accused of giving secret defense information to a foreign country. The spying allegedly occurred while he was signed to the Air Force's Heinrich Hertz Barracks at Birkenfeld near Baumholder between May 1982 and March 1983. He was arrested last April. USAFE officials declined to give details of the espionage or to name the foreign country involved. One of the Army's goals for the 80s is force modernization, but as soldiers know, there are often problems between the blueprint and the battlefield. AFN's Ralph Stinson reports from this week's conference in Garmisch designed to smooth out some of the wrinkles in force mod. The main purpose of the force modernization conference was to iron out problems in getting new equipment from the assembly line to the troops. Ralph Stinson, AFN News. Tomorrow night, Ralph explains how force modernization affects the soldier in Usura. West German Foreign Minister Hans-Dietrich Genscher may visit Libya soon, although no date has been set. A spokesman for Genscher admitted that the situation now is a little difficult, an apparent reference to the shooting incident outside the Libyan embassy in London on Tuesday. Political observers say that Genscher's trip to Libya probably would depend on further developments in that case. Some German newspapers have given April 30th as the date for the visit, but Genscher's office could not confirm this. About 50 protesters against U.S. policy in Central America briefly blockaded the U.S. Embassy in Bonn today. A spokesman said at least one entrance was kept free and there were no incidents or no arrests. Meanwhile, a West German opposition leader is urging Common Market and NATO partners to work together to oppose President Reagan's Central American policies. Hans-Jürgen Wisniewski of the Social Democratic Party criticized U.S. policies in the region and the alleged CIA mining of Nicaraguan ports. He said that NATO and common market members should urge Mr. Reagan to accept peaceful solutions. In Paris, the socialist leaders of France will submit their government to a vote of confidence today. The socialists hold an absolute majority in the National Assembly, so there is no danger of losing or being forced to resign. The idea is to pressure the communists in the coalition to make a commitment to government policy. The tactic carries the implied threat that anything less could lead to the dismissal of the four communists who were in the cabinet. The point of contention is the government's restructuring of manufacturing industries cutting tens of thousands of jobs. Well, it was a big day today at Pendleton Barracks in Giessen, a ribbon-cutting ceremony opening the new newly renovated PX. The 3rd Armored Division Band added to the festive atmosphere as crowds jammed the building to see the results of the million-dollar facelift. And the new merchandise now being stocked in the bigger store. AFN's Airman Pam Windsor found some enthusiastic customers, too. In there. Oh, everything's great. Everything's laid out and they got lots of stuff. Things that I, you know, I didn't think they would have. They really have it. It's good. At the grand opening of the Geese and Main Exchange, Airman Pam Windsor reporting for AFN News. Well, two Britons jumped from the Eiffel Tower in Paris yesterday and floated to the ground on a single parachute. The couple, a man and a woman from London, concealed their stunt parachute in a backpack and got past the anti-suicide nets and the surveillance cameras to jump off the 905-foot high, 905 high top floor of the tower. The stunt's been done to before, but it's considered difficult because of the sloping sides of the tower. Well, now let's take a flying leap over to Stan Kosmoski and find out what's happening in the world of sports. Uh, the fight that people were waiting for may be on. Huh? The big fight, Harry Kotsia, Larry Holmes, they say they don't care. They don't need the WBA, the WBC, agents, anybody. All they need is money. We're going to take a look at the fight and why it'll probably go on when sports returns right after this. <laughs> You should write the DOD hotline or contact your local authorities. They're working for you, sweetheart.
Well, the capital started hot, but that was about the extent of it. Last night, Washington lost their fourth straight to the Islanders 5-3. That after an opening game win, and the Isles become the first to advance to the NHL semifinals. In Minnesota, the North Stars blank St. Louis 6-0. They now go up three games to two in their series. Stars winger Paul Humgren out for at least the rest of this series with torn knee ligaments. Elsewhere, Montreal blank Quebec. That'll give them a 3-2 lead in the Adams Division Finals. And Calgary escaped death with a one-goal win over the Oilers. In the NBA last night, the Los Angeles Lakers, who's without starters Jamal Wilkes and Byron Scott, still had enough to down the Kings, 116-105 in their playoff opener. Professional boxing has long been more a political bout than anything else. Now they're talking about the fight. Well, the WBA says that Harry Coetzee can't. The WBA doesn't care if Larry Holmes does. So amidst all the threats, maybe they will. It was fight hype at its very best. Baseball schedule still available from AFN. Just send us a return envelope. It's addressed to schedules, headquarters AFN Europe. APO New York 09757. Tonight on the Sports Update at 1025, we're going to take a look at some of the competition heading up to this year's 21st Supcom Championships. But till then, that's sports. Well, Chuck Grubb has been right on target with the weather in recent days and with the long uh, Easter weekend mm -hmm. and long week of vacation. For some people, uh, they want to look ahead. You know, can you uh, kind of firm up the picture for uh, said, Easter weekend? Last night we took a look at it. We said it would probably remain relatively dry. And looking at the maps that we had today and everything, the, the prognosis looks very good. High pressure ridge will still remain over the area. Be a slight increase in cloudiness probably by Saturday afternoon. But all in all, it should be a very nice weekend. Well, today was nothing short of beautiful, just plenty of sunshine over the entire viewing area, a few clouds out towards Grafenvere. High temperatures continue to warm up day after day, and today and this afternoon, most of them are right in the mid to high 50s and lower 60s throughout much of central and southern Germany. It's going to be another clear night, but very cold for the, uh, tomorrow morning as lows drop right around 32 to 38 degrees. And then tomorrow, another sunny day. It'll be slightly warmer as highs will be very nice, ranging anywhere from about 61 to 67. Well, that's our weather outlook for Friday afternoon. Now more news with Ann and Rich. Well, coming up, Ryan Mine Air Base learns how to save a life and some fancy fixin' from Army chefs. And the man who sings Stay With Me Tonight and On the Wings of Love will sing for us. That right after this. Hopefully the day will never come when you need CPR or cardiopulmonary resuscitation. But if it does, plan on being on Rhinemine Air Base because there are a lot more people on that air base now who know how to save a life thanks to a special Red Cross training yesterday. What is cardiac pulmonary resuscitation? We went to Rhine Mine Air Base for Save a Life Day to get an in-depth answer. Well, we'd like to thank you for staying with us tonight for this edition of the AFN Television News European Edition, and we will see you tomorrow night. Good night. Good night. AFN Television News, compiled from the major American networks, wire services, and public affairs offices.